everyone, this is Anu on Warren's channel. Today I'm making mozzarella cheese for you. It is a very very simple recipe, doesn't require any expertise at all and it is so easy, so cheesy, so gooey, you're gonna love it. We have taken 2 liters of full cream milk, we need to stir it till the time it comes to a hot temperature but not till the point it boils. When we touch it, it has to be bearable by our hands like how we would do when we are making curd at home. At that time, we need to start adding our vinegar. I have about 100 ml of vinegar over here. Everything doesn't go at once. I put about 1 tablespoon at a time and keep stirring it. When the temperature reaches a high point, we can switch off our gas. Yeah, when I feel it, it is quite hot but not yet boiling, right? As we add our vinegar here, we will notice the milk splitting. Can you see? It has started to split. We need to do this again and again. Keep stirring, keep adding our vinegar till such time that it separates and it starts becoming stringy. As you can see, it has split already. I've put almost all the vinegar that I have and it's made all this cheese come together. I'm gonna strain it and this water is really good. It is super healthy, has a lot of nutrients. I use it for kneading. I even put it in our dals while cooking. It is really, really healthy. Wow. I'm gonna take out as much water as possible by just pushing it on the mesh and then we're going to do the next step. Now you can see our cheese has come together really well. I have removed excess water from it. I'm gonna wash it now in this warm water. I have heated it up to under boiling temperature. Can you see all the whiteness coming out of the cheese? I'm gonna leave it here for a couple minutes and then I'll show you how we stretch it in order to make it perfect. Our cheese has been in here for two to three minutes. I'm rinsing it really well now. As you can see, I have to pick it up and squeeze it nicely. I have to take out all the water from it and then we're gonna wash it again in the same water. I'm gonna do this three to four times. Keep pushing out all the water in it and then I'm gonna stretch it, rinse the insides of it. I have been squeezing and washing and stretching this cheese for about four to five times. And the last step is to rinse it in cold water and make sure from the exterior of it, everything comes out. You can see the water turning slightly milky. This is best consumed next day. We need to refrigerate it. So I'm just going to put it in a cling wrap, cover it tightly, make sure it stays well covered. Now we have a perfectly round ball of mozzarella cheese. It was very easy to make. As you saw, it took us just about half an hour to make this. We're gonna chill it, keep it in the refrigerator for two to three hours at the least. Overnight is the best. And then we can use it the following day. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Please do let me know if you have any concerns, any comments, and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.